Hello there everyone, it's me Chris again. <laughs> and this is video number five for the ramp mod for the D'Agostini Model Space Millennium Falcon. In this video I want to cover gluing together the curved corridor section to the curved corridor floor. The two end caps that are be used for light blocking and most of the ramp hallway itself. This is in glued together, it's just fitted together, pre-fitted, just to make sure everything is honky-dory. Alright, let's begin. Uh, the first step we're going to do is pre-fit the curved corridor floor with the curved corridor itself. It slips in as such. Might be a little tight fit. Some sanding and you know trimming might be required. But we can pre-fit it like this. Make sure everything's tight together. And you'll notice uh, there's a step right there. This is uh, enough space to accommodate a side lit fiber optic strand or a cold cathode tube to light up the open grill spots on the curved corridor floor. Uh, there is, oh pardon me, there is uh, an open space for the bottom here but you'll get the idea when you start putting this together. So let's uh, glue this in place. Note that there are two uh, tongue and tail groove sections I didn't paint um, just for the purpose of this video uh, white so we're just gonna just uh, add a little dab and that'll do you on each one and get this puppy sealed in place and also seal this right here as such and viola voila now let this set up and dry or we'll just at least let the glue set up for a little bit I usually like to take uh, any excess glue and wipe it away with a cotton swab keep those holes nice and open Or any other excess for that matter. All right. Oh, yay. Watching glue dry is so exciting. Yay. All right, let's move on. Now, I've got this hallway section just about ready to go. It's uh, assembled but not glued. And there's a method behind my madness because of this. In this step, we will not be gluing the ceiling for specific reasons you'll find out in video six because we still have to assemble the lost and missing hydraulic ramp pistons that are closest to the curved corridor which go here and here in those locations so keeping the ceiling unattached, not glued in place, will make for the assembly on this model and this project much more easier. So let's begin. I'll take this off. Alright, the next step for gluing the hallway corridor for the ramp will be as such. You'll notice uh, two relief points uh, on each side of the wall. They sit and face in just like this and mirrored on the other side as well so let's get a little dab to do ya a little dab will do ya <laughs> and the exciting part comes where we glue this together Yay! another part put together if you do see any gaps in the seams uh, that is uh, that is no bueno. Uh, it's not good. We want to you know seal it up 
with uh, either gap filling glue, CA glue, or what I like to use, uh, some Brits uh, across the pond turned me on to this about 15 years ago. Uh, what you want to do is use either body filler or modeling putty. Uh, this particular brand, for example, is Squadron Products. It's a fast drying white putty. I like it. I love it. It's dressed in plastic and very fantastic. All right. Enough said with that. We will go and move on to the other one. Now, this is the hallway wall section that faces towards the cockpit and main hold and there's the other relief point shown here in white Let's add a little bit of glue here yay more glue and inset it as such right here let this set up temporarily again if you see any uh, gaps uh, in between the seams between the curved corridor floor uh, section and the curved corridor itself against the walls feel free to use any uh, type of uh, body filler gap filling glue or modeling putty and as you wish um, it's best to put it on the outside since it won't be seen and it'll block the light or any light leaking uh, that comes about much easier than before Okay, let's move on to the next step. Let me have a sip of some frosty beverage first. Ah, alrighty. This is the outer wall for the ramp hall section area. And you'll note that it is slightly curved. And the bow of the curve faces outwards this way towards this and there is an orientation you'll see these dovetail tabs the one that's uh, closest uh, to the edge here is the one that goes on top and there's also an indicator that shows an angle here for where the uh, the top ceiling mates into the part where we'll glue later in after steps uh, or video six for that matter Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's add a little glue yet again. There we go. Right. And affix them into the tongue and groove for the dovetails. And press it nice it flush in place and the only thing I want to do to use the ceiling is to use it as a jig to square everything off press it in place and let that set up yeah there we go now we're cooking with Crisco more stuff glued how exciting all right let all that set up. Add your uh, body filler on the outside edges to stop any light leaks later on. You'll notice how the ramp setup is now and looks much clearer and more evident than ever before now that we have most of this put together. Again, there may be some gaps in the model that was intended for fitment and as us pros modelers know you know sanding trimming filing gluing adding body filler all that is um, you know part of the the devil's advocate for making a, a a modified bash kit well this isn't a modified bash kit but you do get the idea all right now lastly We've got two end caps to seal and plug in here. And I've uh, embossed them with uh, little, you know, words that say, oh, stern side, toward engines. So that must be this one that way. If the ramp is sitting here, the engines must be going that way. Yay! Okay, and the other one, obviously, 50-50 chance, goes on the other side. 
just pre-fit this in place and make sure it sits flush which it does it's awesome gee I designed it that way um, don't know why this guy that designed this just made all these parts fit together so fabulously again you know some um, uh, body filler or putty uh, is going to be needed to stop any uh, leaking from any light Oh, let's start with this one. Um, the exciting glue action begins yet again. Dun 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 dun. I'd redo this video if I could, but I can't because it's a live action video, and I've never been accused of being a great video photographer. Yay! All right, point. Position it in place. Let that set up. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. The other side has some neat little words on it. It says, bow side towards cockpit and main hold. Hmm, gee, well, there's only one part left to do. Let's see where it goes. Ta-da! Right here. All right. I'm not trying to, I'm insulting my own intelligence at this point. All right, so that's set up mm, pretty good. So I'm going to take the ceiling off for now because we're going to install those missing hydraulic brackets right here and right here later on in video number six. All right, let's seal the deal with the last glued part. I know we're all excited about this. Yes. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Oh, look at that glue go on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Freddy. Yeah. Do it again for me. And I already pre-fit this part, so I know how it's going to fit anyways. And... Press it in place, my fingers a little bit, make sure it sets up. Doop, 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 doop. And yeah, baby. This will work out just nice. Alrighty then. Thank you, guys, girls, gals, and other aliens from the galaxy.